okay so fantastic in this video i am going to uh, tell uh, or show you the complete uh, top room the way they are fitting it and uh, how the room exactly looks like so these are the laminated doors which have just come from the factory where uh, the edge binding happens at the factory now once that is done they actually drill holes uh, for each of the doors so that the hinges can be fitted very well so now what he is doing is he is making a marking and they have a ready made template a small template what they have created using which they drill a hole so that they get the uh, right position to drill the hole so that's uh, they are roughly making around uh, four uh, four holes to fit four hinges so once that is done so they are just fitting the hinges so this is how the hinges looks and the beauty with this hinges is like uh, they have a small uh, uh, alignment changes that can be done after fitting as well so if the do door is not properly closing or uh, if top and bottom section are not rightly aligned using this you can actually align as well so these are for the kitchen doors you could see they have kept ready uh, you could see that they have kept all the doors ready so this is how it is looking right now so they started fixing it So this is uh, one of the utensils uh, keeping section, uh, usually the mid section where one can keep uh, cups or things like that. And they tighten using a small clamp. Now this is uh, the knife spoon holder. So initially they just uh, try to make a marking to see uh, where exactly the a uh, door has to be fitted or the ply has to be fitted once they get that marking they then uh, clamp it so these are the small clamps that are used So that's it. Now they are just fitting back into its place. So this is how it is looking. Um, now uh, what he is doing is he is actually doing a bookshelf. So I wanted a bookshelf at the corner um, uh, in the TV unit. The reason is usually I will be doing webinars for uh, uh, students. Usually it's on uh, YouTube masterclass. So if you want to be part of it then just click on the link below in the description and you can be part of a YouTube masterclass where you can also uh, learn why you should consider YouTube, uh, how does YouTube work or uh, how much one can earn money from YouTube and also I will be explaining about some of the secrets to build a fantastic YouTube channel. So if you are interested to learn about YouTube then certainly just click on the link below in the description and register for the upcoming uh, webinar so you can learn from there. So this room is completely meant for us where we do our YouTube videos and webinars and things like that. So that's where I wanted a bookshelf so he's just doing that. Uh, you could see that without using any other special tool he's actually cutting it at a 45 degree angle. So that's where uh, their expertise come into picture. So they have just made it like an angle and they will, they will fix it. So they uh, 
put in the small nails uh, just to make sure the next ply whatever they are fitting it actually sits in the right place okay so that's the reason why they do it it's just like a marking what they do uh, the way they did this this was a bit interesting to see it I'm sure you are going to love the way they get the end product out. So this is roughly around uh, 8 inches uh, wide, whatever uh, he is doing right now. The width of it is 8 inches and the length is approximately 18 inches. Usually for them, uh, when it comes to uh, working with ply, the bigger uh, work actually takes less time and the smaller works actually uh, takes, uh, or uh, rather I would say, small small things like these things would take more time because they have to do a lot more work in this and even at the time of uh, they applying the lamination, you could see they have a lot of work to do. And one interesting thing is like I was very curious okay how is he going to fix it to the TV unit so uh, watch till the end because you're going to see how they are going to fix it because uh, it's not something that okay uh, they can uh, directly uh, uh, put a screw or something so he has almost uh, made this So this is the section which is ready now. That's the last bottom section. So now he just made the marking. So where uh, it has to be fit in. And then they have to make sure that the corners are completely fine. So this is the trick that is there where they actually uh, make it uh, to fix it to the TV unit. So what he did is he had just uh, removed the head of a nail and he has poked it inside. Now he is actually making uh, holes there so that the nail exactly goes right in that position and it gets fixed to the wall. So he has more made uh, three holes. They are just applying the fecal so that it also holds to uh, the lamination on the TV unit. So you might be thinking, he did that on one side or not on the other side. Correct. He has uh, put the nails on only uh, three of its corners and not on the others. So there is uh, something different he is going to do on the other corners as well. So right now what he is trying to do is he is just trying to make sure that uh, the nails go uh, into the holes what has been made. So that's it. He just uh, made sure it just fixed there, got fixed there. Now if you could see at the corners what he has made is he has actually uh drilled a nail there okay so that's how he had fixed on the other side now here comes a bit bigger task for them to uh, apply the lamination because there are so many partitions that are there 
and they have to exactly match that uh, uh, lamination to that uh, size they have to do it so this was quite a tedious task and uh, it take really it does take a really good amount of time for them to do it so for us it uh, sometimes looks like okay the lamination sheet is ready uh, why they are not pasting but the thing is they need to actually get a uh, right finishing only then it actually uh, fits perfect so he has made sure that all the lamination sheets are perfect to its shape and uh, now they are applying fevicol and fixing it So that's how they just uh, apply it. And they would apply the tapes at the corner so that uh, uh, there is no gap between the lamination and uh, the ply. This is one of the most important step and I think uh, during the entire construction uh, we would have used at least 500 uh, tapes. So these are called as the abro tapes and now say this is the technique what they use to make sure uh, at the corner uh, there is no gap so they just uh, put it there and uh, they make sure there is no gap that is left same at each and every corner so while here on the other side uh, he is trying to fix the handle So that's how they just fix all the handles. And also if you see here, even here also we have left the air vent so that uh, uh, the smell from the sink uh, just goes out. So now it's almost ready. He has also applied the edge winding now. So that those are the edge winding what he is applying and uh, they can remove this uh, only the next day only next day they will be able to remove it because at least it takes around 8 hours time for the fevicol to get completely dry so if you try to remove before that then uh, it may have not uh, uh, stuck very well so now he is actually giving a uh, right finishing to each corner So you could see that though it just indicated that uh, it's a very small thing but uh, this took quite a good amount of time. Now once that is done, uh, after all the doors uh, and uh, electrical items and everything have been fixed, so at the end it's final touch up of the paint. So the painters will do the final touch up where they give uh, the final coat paint and uh, then they clean the complete uh, area. 
so that's what is happening right now so here you can see uh, they're actually fixing the uh, lights in the false ceiling So this is how it looks after cleaning. So you could call this as like a studio room or something, whatever you want to say, because it's uh, one uh, big room and I think this is probably around uh, 400, uh, roughly around 350 to 400 square foot. So this is the kitchen unit. Uh, all our uh, GM switches that are there. So this is where they could actually keep uh, all the uh, necessary things for uh, kitchen. So this is where they can keep the plates. So this is the top section uh, where uh, they can keep any of the containers. So I have just used a simple combination of white and blue, uh, dark blue here. So those are the windows and uh, false ceilings, false ceiling. And on the right side you could see this is a wardrobe. This is probably around uh, four feet uh, wide. And in wardrobe, uh, one thing is like uh, I wanted more of uh, drawers than just uh, having it like a uh, shelf. So one section has the shelves and other, another section has a uh, good number of wardrobe, uh, sorry, uh, drawers so that you can organize things very well. So in this section, it's completely drawers. And in each of the one, we have one section that can be locked. So usually that's the top one. So you can see the top one can be locked and uh, all the bottom ones are like just, it can be opened. So here, if you can see, I have made it as complete partition so that uh, we can organize anything very well. So that's how the window designs looks. Uh, as I said, like uh, in the previous video, even here we have used the hooks for the windows instead of tower bolts. And that's a beautiful view that you actually see from our top room. So here is the bathroom, just beside the, behind the TV unit. Very uh, simple design. And uh, these tiles, whatever you see, they are not really expensive. So these are very uh, affordable ones. And so this is a toothpaste and a brush holder with uh, two soap holders. Again, uh, all these taps are parryware, including the commode and the sink. So this is the TV unit with uh, the bookshelf so that you can very well organize the books and it would give a lot more uh, uh, good appearance as well. So if you are looking for a place where you also want to do some uh, video recording or something then certainly you can do it like this so that uh, it gives a lot more uh, professional feeling as well.
so there are these are uh, one watt uh, lights there are three lights totally so there is a shelf inside and the next two are uh, drawers so that's where the wires actually come from the bottom so this is how exactly the top room looks so you could see completely now from this angle very simple uh, we have not made any walls here it's completely open area so that uh, we can use the maximum place for creating videos and things like that so thanks for watching and as i said if you want to be part of the youtube master class then certainly just click on the link in the description and you can attend the, the youtube master class in which you can learn why you should really consider YouTube, how much you could earn and some of the secrets to build a fantastic YouTube channel. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. And if you are not already subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.